Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalos Tirzata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite cookies, kurambiades. Kurambiades are Greek almond cookies. They're so light and they crumble and they melt in your mouth. Perfect with a cup of Greek coffee. They're so good. They're good to give as gifts, which is perfect because the holidays are right around the corner. I've already shared a different version of this cookie, um, my kurabiades that we used to sell at our bakery when we had it uh, for 10 years. They're a little bit different than this. Today, I'm going to be sharing the classic version with the orange blossom water. They're much fluffier and lighter. They're so good. Perfect, like I said, with a cup of Greek coffee and great to give as gifts. Let's get started. So I started by roasting some almonds, about a cup and a half, which is 170 grams of almonds. These are whole almonds with the skin on. If you have blanched almonds, those are even better. I didn't have those, so I'm just using the ones with the skin on. I just roasted them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight to 10 minutes or until they were nice and fragrant. They're cooling a little bit right now, so I'm gonna start to cream the butter. So we're gonna start with a pound of unsalted butter. It's at room temperature, so it's nice and soft, and that's important. You can do this with a hand blender, but it just makes it so much easier because the butter and the sugar is gonna cream for a while, so it can be nice and fluffy, so your hand might get tired if you're using a hand mixer. If you have a table tabletop mixer, now's the time to use it. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this, just a half teaspoon. One cup of powdered sugar, also known as confectioner sugar. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, pure vanilla is best. And two tablespoons of orange blossom water. This is so nice and light and refreshing. Um, you can use rose water instead. And you can use pistachios in place of the almonds. That's a nice little twist if you prefer the pistachios. Now I'm gonna start mixing this on low speed and then I'm gonna increase the speed to high. And this is gonna mix for about five minutes. Okay, so while the mixer was beating the butter and the sugar and all of that, I just went ahead and I pulsed the almonds into, in a little food processor until they were finely chopped. So these are ready to go. You wanna wait until the almonds have completely cooled before you do that. In this big bowl over here, I have four and a half cups or 625 grams of all-purpose flour. I also have a teaspoon of baking soda and three teaspoons of baking powder. I'm just gonna whisk that all together. And I'm gonna add this to my butter mixture while the mixer is beating on low a little bit at a time. Once I have about a cup of the flour left, I'm just gonna combine the almonds with that little bit of flour together, and I'm gonna add them all together finally to the mixer. You wanna make sure that you don't overbeat this. Once the dough comes together, it's ready. All right, so you're gonna have some crumbs on the bottom, like crumbled pieces of unincorporated dough in there. So I like to transfer it to a work surface like this cutting board over here and then just kind of mix everything all together so that way the dough is completely mixed up and there's no fine crumbs left. It's just easier to do it on the counter. Then you're just gonna wanna have two or three baking trays ready lined with parchment paper. And we're just gonna form these first into balls. You're gonna take about a tablespoon worth of dough, about 35 grams or so if you're measuring, 30 to 35 grams, it can go up to 40. Make them as big or as small as you want, but this is basically the size that you're looking for so you get a nice size cookie. And form them into a ball. Put them on your baking tray. Right now you don't have to space them out because we're gonna finish them off in a little bit. Go ahead and form your balls first, then you can leave them round just like this, or you can make them moon shape. Both are very traditional shapes. I'm gonna leave it up to you. You wanna keep them nice and light, don't compress them together. So this recipe makes about 44 or 45 cookies. Once you're done shaping them into little round balls, you can either, either keep them that shape and just press your finger into the center to create like a little dimple. This is gonna help the cookie cook through and it's also gonna help hold some of the powdered sugar that's gonna be sprinkled over the top of them later. Or you can shape them into moon shapes or crescent shapes like I'm doing right here. You basically roll the little ball out into a cylinder and then you shape it into a crescent and then you put it on the baking tray that's already lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Either way is delicious. You wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. These are gonna bake for about 20 minutes. They're still gonna be slightly pale, but golden all around the edges. They're just gonna get a light golden tint on them. Once they come out of the oven, while they're nice and hot, it's up to you. You can put some orange blossom water in a little spray bottle and lightly mist the cookies with some of the orange blossom water just so that way they can have more of that beautiful aroma in them. 
or you can just leave that step out. It's up to you. I do, I do it both ways. It just depends how much time I have and how much orange blossom water I have too. Then you're gonna let the cookies cool to room temperature and you're gonna dust them with a generous amount of powdered sugar. You can do it again either way. You could either dust the powdered sugar on top or you can take the powdered sugar and put it in a shallow bowl and then roll the, the cookies in there until they're coated with it. And then I would also dust them with another heavy coating of powdered sugar. Then you're gonna wanna call some friends over, make some coffee and share this goodness. Okay, so the cookies are ready. They took about 20 minutes in the oven. Once you put in the second and third trays, it, it is going to take a little bit longer, maybe up to 25 minutes, just because the heat does uh, decrease every time you open the oven and each time more trays go in. Just keep an eye on them so once they're beautifully, lightly golden, then you can take them out and do as I did. The house smells amazing. So good, time for the taste test. All right, so take a look at how light and crumbly they are. Mmm. They just melt in your mouth. They taste so delicious. That light hint of the orange blossom water is just so nice and refreshing and aromatic and floral and so good. A little crunch from the almonds is good and the sweetness from the powdered sugar to die for. These are dangerous. I better get them away from me or give them out to the neighbors or something because they can do a lot of damage. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys love these. I hope you give them a try and you give them out as gifts and also you share them with your friends and family. The exact measurements are on the website, DemetriusDishes.com. Stay tuned because I have a lot more delicious cookie recipes that are coming up. I'm getting ready to record another version of my Greek honey cookies, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.